Hi friends and welcome back to the Baseball Card Illustrated channel. I'm Bronco, the PSA 11, and this is a card show. So we're going to step on in, see what we can find, we'll take you around here to the Kalahari Resort in the Wisconsin Dells. As you take a look at the Kalahari Resort, this is not a line for retail or even for the Rob Deere Starting Lineup World Tour. This is the line to get in. So we're going to go buy our tickets and take a look around. The doors have just swung open and there's a flurry of excitement and activity as people are making their first purchases of the day. There's roughly 300 vendors selling everything from baseball, basketball, and football to hockey, wrestling, and probably even Pokemon. So we're going to take a couple laps and see what we can find here. So I have a grand total of one table in and I already made $20 worth of purchases. So let's take a look at what we got. We got this 65th anniversary King Griffey Jr. card, which will probably be making its way out to the Bellingham area. We got a Derek Jeter rookie card, a rookie class card of collector's choice. We got a Mike Trout card. I know where that one's going to be headed. Got a Joe Adele rookie. Got a Randy Rosarena rookie from the 2020 traded set. We got a Dylan Carlson. And we got a Brendan McKay autograph card. As I get ready to make my way back inside, I'll remind you that I'm giving away at least one of these cards somewhere in this video, so make sure to stay tuned and figure out how you can enter to win that. Also, if you're new to the channel, I invite you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We do giveaways all the time here on Baseball Card Illustrated, including each week on Mystery Mondays, which debuts each Monday at 7.30 Eastern, 6.30 Central. These might be the two oldest cards that I've ever purchased. We got a Earl Weaver and a Brooks Robinson. The Weaver is a 71, the Brooksy is a 1975 Topps card. This segment of the video goes out to my friend Scott over at Autographs 2000, the biggest Orioles fan I know, other than of course me, who just became one this year. So round two has yielded some other sports as we start off with prime time Deion Sanders on a 1989 score rookie card. Looking at the NBA, we got the Hall of Famer Tim Duncan. And then back to baseball, we got another Hall of Famer, Greg Maddox. Daryl Strawberry on a Fleer rookie card. And then we're going with the kid, Ken Griffey Jr. on both Donruss and Fleer. And I spent 18 bucks with seven out sports cards and collectibles. If you're interested, you can check them out here. We got a Cody Bellinger rookie card. The Big Hurt, Frank Thomas. Unfortunately, there is a name on front, so I'm not a millionaire. We Are We Scared Yet? It's Walker Bueller time. A little Mike Trout action, and the top purchase at that particular spot, a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. rookie card. Okay, we've just had lunch, now it's time to go back in and fill this box with a whole bunch of goodies. Let's see what we can find inside. For those of you interested in unopened stuff, including the junk wax area, here's a bunch of boxes and cases of Donruss, Tops, and even some hockey cards. So I dropped $35 at Chi-Town Sports Cards, looking at a box of anywhere from $1 to $5 and up. So here's what we got out of this one. We got a Noah Syndergaard rookie card, which is trying to get off camera. A Ricky Henderson, Brandon Stebbins, that might be headed your way. We got a Ken Griffey Jr. card from Donruss. A sweet Bo Jackson. We got a Brandon Woodruff rookie card. We got an Orlando Arcia autograph. A Chris Bryant Ott rookie reprint that's going to go after our good friends over at Don't Talk to Robots along with this one. And another Chris Bryant, because there's no room in my collection for that, right, Tony Black? Got a Bryce Harper Gold Cup card. Two Bryce Harper cards today that I bought. The Admiral Dave Robinson. The GOAT John Elway checks in, gotta have him. Got a couple rookie cards of Josh Bell. Another Chris Bryant that's gonna be headed to the Windy City along with a rookie card that just fell through the table. <laughs> and Barry Bonds, another Frank Thomas, a Frankie Lindor. And then there's this card, which I have seen in multiple boxes, always for between three and five dollars. So I felt bad that this one was only two bucks, so I picked it up so it didn't have to feel lonely and unwanted. Got a Marcus Stroman autograph right here for six, and a Matt Chapman. So I purchased this, a McFarland figure of Prince Fielder, former Brewer, former Ranger, former Tiger. This is going out to my buddy Mason. I wanted to show this off. I used to collect a whole bunch of these. And then, for those of you tuning in, we have a chance for you to win this, a Griffey Jr. Donruss card and an Eric Chavez autograph card. All you've got to do is leave a comment on this video within the next 24 hours of it being posted. So that'll be sometime Sunday night. I don't know exactly when it's posted, but if you leave a comment in the next 24 hours, 
We'll pick a name at random on Mystery Mondays for your chance to win. As we take another walk around the Wisconsin Bells card show, I'll let you know that coming up later in the video, I'll let you know the best thing that I saw here, along with a countdown of some of my favorite purchases. Don't forget, get your comment in and have a chance to win a Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card and an Eric Chavez autograph. One of the things I really like to do is hit the dollar box, and this one was a great one. I spent a total of $70 picking up 90 cards. We'll take a look at those coming up next weekend on the Saturday shoot-around here on the Baseball Card Illustrated channel. May is double birthday month here on the Baseball Card Illustrated channel as Kevin and I both celebrate our birthday this month. And as a result, we are giving away a bonus card, a bonus giveaway during each video throughout the course of the month. So Eddie's Baseball Autographs, Uncle Eddie, our buddy out in the Seattle area, if you're watching and comment between now and the time that we post Mystery Mondays, you're going to win this, a pickup of an Edgar Martinez autograph card. Just for you, Uncle Eddie. Things are beginning to wind down here in the Wisconsin Dells. I'm going on my last round looking for a couple cards I want to pick up before heading back home. Time seems to stand still when you're at a card show. Just wanted to point out before we wrap things up that I think the coolest thing that I saw throughout the course of the day was right at the end of the show when a guy had a big case full of gold framed plated cards they were all autographed every card was numbered to 20 they were all hall of famers i wish i could remember what the product was but they had paul Molitor, eddie murray just a whole list of hall of famers every card in there was going for about a hundred bucks too i wish i would have had a chance to make a purchase or two from that case but unfortunately that didn't happen but we'll wrap things up by talking about my favorite purchase of the day so a lot of purchases today we had a last round, bought a whole stack of stuff again, we'll be sharing that with you in other videos, but the best purchase I think of the day for me was a Bob Euler rookie card. Right here, it's a 1963 Tops, and it's on the Milwaukee Braves. On behalf of Kevin the Diamond King, our graphics guru Dylan, and our special guest, Showtime, our guest photographer this afternoon, I'm Bronco of PSA 11. So long everybody, you've been watching the Baseball Card Illustrated channel.